Good morning. I have another book for you, another favorite of my children growing up. This book is called Dinerella, a pre prehistoric fairy tale. Dora, Doris, and Dinerella lived down in the sand dunes in a dinosaur den. Dora and Doris did nothing all day. They dumped debris around the den. They never did the dusting or the dishes. Dinarella was dainty and dependable. Dora and Doris were dreadful to Dinarella. All day they demanded. Dinarella dig the garden. Dinarella fetch us drinks. Dinarella start the dinner. She's a dingbat, sniggered Doris. She's a dumb head, giggled Doris. One day, a card was delivered to the den. Dinosaur dance, Duke Dudley's den at dusk. Hors d'oeuvres, dandelion cola, dancing until dawn. Duke Dudley was the most dashing dinosaur in the dunes. I would die for a date with the Duke, said Dora decorating herself with dinosaur jewels. Definitely, sighed Doris, dolling up for the dance. A dance, said Dinarella diffidently. How divine. You can't go to the dance, said Doris. You're too dowdy. You're too dull, agreed Dora, and you don't have decent dinosaur jewels. Of course, you can't go to the dance. Poor Dinarella felt down in the dumps as she watched her stepsisters depart. Suddenly, Dinarella heard a droning noise. Don't be dismal, cried Fairy Dactyl. You shall go to the dance. But I'm so drab, said Dinarella, and I don't have decent dinosaur jewels. I'll soon deal with that, declared Fairy Dactyl. These will outdazzle all other dinosaur jewels. Darling Fairy Dactyl, exclaimed Dinarella in delight. With her diamonds dangling, she set out for the dance. See her jewels around her neck and on her ears. And there's Fairy Dactyl. Dusk had fallen when Dinarella heard a deafening disturbance coming from the direction of Duke Dudley's den. A dastardly deed was taking place. A Dionicus was dragging off the Duke. I'm done for, cried the Duke. He will devour me. Indeed, I will, laughed the Dionicus. I'll be digesting you by daybreak. Dinarella was not a daring dinosaur, but something drastic had to be done. I may become dessert, but I'm determined to drive away that dreaded carnivore. Dinarella climbed to the top of the dune, you disgusting dummy, she roared. Drop the duke. Dinarella began to hurl dirt balls at the Dionicus. The dumbfounded Dionicus stopped in disbelief. Who called me a dummy, he demanded. The moon's light caught Dinarella's dangling diamonds. Dots and dabs of light darted toward the Dionicus. A devil, cried the Dionicus. See its dreadful demon eyes. Dinarella detached a diamond and directed it toward the Dionicus. 
The diamond hit the Dionicus hard in his dentures. The devil will destroy me with his deadly eyes, bellowed the distraught Dionicus. He dumped Duke Dudley and departed double quick. The den was dense with dinosaurs dashing about in distress. A demon, they cried. We're doomed. Dimwits, roared Duke Dudley through the den. Demons don't throw diamonds. It was a damsel who defended me with her dazzling dinosaur jewel. When I discover her, I shall ask her to be my darling. All the dinosaur dames were delirious. The jewel is mine, they each declared. Mine, cried Doris. No, definitely mine, bellowed Dora, giving Doris a dig. I am the damsel you desire. I doubt it, declared Duke Dudley. Your dinosaur jewels don't match. Just then, Fairy Dactyl arrived at the dance. She quickly saw the dilemma. Where is Dinarella? she demanded. Dinarella, scoffed Dora, that dopey domestic. Dinarella, laughed Doris, she's back at the den. But Fairy Dactyl spied Dinarella dodging behind the dune. Dinarella, she directed, come down. So down came Dinarella, looking distracted, cried the Duke. She wears but one dazzling jewel. Dinarella, you are adorable. You're definitely quite a dish. I beg you to be my dearest. Dreamy, said Dinarella, as they danced off into the dawn. Drat, said Dora and Doris. The end. Hope you enjoyed this book, Dinarella, a prehistoric fairy tale.